Okay, hi everybody. Uh, welcome back. Uh, in the last tutorial, we made a simple Hello World app. Uh, it just had a label that we updated both in Interface Builder and also by code. Um, so in this video, all I'm going to do is add some buttons. Um, and these buttons are going to give us the ability to change the text in that label. So let's start by going back to Xcode and opening the uh, project we had open before. So here it is. Um, so if we look back on our storyboard, we'll see that we have a, we actually have a label here. Um, just so we can see that, let's make that a color. And we'll go back to the standard editor because things are crazy in here. Um, so Let's make the background color of this be no, not blue. But there. Okay, so now we know where that label is. Uh, let's just make it the full width because I think I remember that we ran out of space before. There you go. There's your label. So let's add two buttons here. Okay, so we'll go into here select objects and we'll scroll down and find okay a rounded rect button so let's put one here and one here okay so the first one will say set red and the second one will say set blue Okay, now let's hide the sidebar. And I'm going to bring up my assistant editor again because I want to add some outlets and actions for these buttons. So you can see we've already got one outlet, which is where we attach the, uh, the UI label. So now we're going to add a second and third outlet. So this allows us to access this button from our code. So we want this to be an outlet, and we'll say red button. And connect that. And then we'll do the same thing for the blue button. Oops. So right click, drag into here, and we'll give that a name of blue button. Now, next we're going to create some actions. So the, the outlets allow us to access these buttons and change properties about the buttons from our code. But if we want the buttons to do anything, we have to give them an action. So we're going to right click here, drag over just like we did before. But this time, instead of outlet, we're going to say action. And let's call this action uh, make text red. Uh, you want this to just be any description of whatever the uh, the uh, button is going to do. And touch up inside. Touch up inside means that when your finger comes up off the screen and it's inside the frame of the button, it will register as a click. And that's what we want. Um, so make text red and we'll connect that. Drag in the action. Make text blue. Okay, so now here in the make text red um, method, uh, this takes in the identity of an object, which in this case is the, the button that clicks it, uh, but we don't really need that. Um, we'll just say um, hello label set text to be hello from red and then in this make text blue we'll say hello label set text and we'll change the text to be hello from blue land 
Now, it might be also interesting if we actually change the text color. So let's do that here too. So again, we're calling a method on the object hello label. We want to set the text color. And we're going to set that to be an object of UI color. Um, and let's make it, so this is from Redlands, so we'll make it red color. So this is a built-in color. You don't have to actually describe the RGB value or anything like that for this color. It just knows what red is. And then we'll do the same thing down here. Hello label, set text color. Again, it's going to be a UI color. And this will be blue color. And this is not the blue color that we chose before. It's just uh, the default pure blue. Um, okay, and so why don't we at the same time um, let's synthesize those uh, those objects that we created before. Um, and we'll release them down here as well. And blue button is equal to nil. Um, and again, like before, this is just so that we clear these objects out of memory after we leave this screen. Um, in this particular app, we're never going to leave the screen because we only have one page. But in general, it's a good habit to clean up after yourself. Um, so now that we have that, we can also do something with the red button when this gets clicked. So let's say set text color, red button, set title color, sorry. Um, UI color, we'll make it red color for state. Um, so this is telling us about the state of the button. So we want this um, to be the default color. Um, so control state normal. So this means that when the, the button is just sitting there, it will be this color as opposed to our other options here, which were disabled. You can set the button to be disabled. When it's pushed down, it's highlighted. Uh, you can also set it as being selected and reserved. So we want this to be normal. So that by default, just when it's a button just there, it will show the color that we want it to have. And then if we're pushing that, we want to make sure that we unpush the blue button. So we'll set the title color to be gray or something. Oops. Light gray color. And then UI control state normal. So when we push the red bu uh, button, that sets its own color to be red sets the other button to be gray and then it'll update our label and then down here we'll do the opposite so I'll just copy these down here paste and we want the red button down here to be set to gray and the blue button to be set colored so let's run this and see what we get Okay, so here we are, we have our uh, label and our button. So when we push click red, it sets this to be red. This gets highlighted and this gets ignored. And then when we push set blue, this gets set to be blue. This is blue and this gets ignored. Okay, so that's it. Uh, that's how you use UI buttons in your app.